Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Uh, Patrick here, just uh, out to shoot another short video on some uh, things that I've been working on over the past few weeks. Obviously I've been making a lot of videos, but uh, if you've been following me on Instagram and Facebook, you'd also know that I'm doing a bit of leather work now. So it's uh, something that kind of uh, came out of nowhere and I just decided I'd start doing it. A bit costly to get started. Um, and all I wanted to do today is just show you a couple small things that I've been working on kind of the progress and and uh, just kind of let you in on what I was doing. Okay so for the first item today we're going to talk about the axe collar. Uh, it was a really simple project. It didn't take me very long to do. Uh, just wanted to protect the uh, the handle uh, when I overstrike because I wasn't very good when I got started. Um, so pretty simple design. I just molded it, cut it and wrapped it and then sewed it up together. It worked great. And I also put an additional support for this sheath here that was pre-made for this axe. Uh, it didn't fit properly, so I adjusted it. The second item is uh, an axe carry. Uh, it's just made from remnants from other projects. Um, just a simple belt loop, a loop around to carry the axe, and a strap to fasten it down with. Uh, this did not work out very well, unfortunately. Uh, it uh, doesn't, doesn't carry it too well. It's a little too flimsy. Uh, I think I'll have to go back and redesign it. But for now, it actually does work, but not great. Uh, the next item is a knife sheath. I've made three of these, all getting a little better each time, a little more care and attention as I go along. Uh, just simple belt loop with clasp so that I can take it on and off as I will. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward. Came out really well. Uh, hole punching is obviously my uh, not my strong suit, uh, so that'll take some more practice and I need a few more tools for it. But otherwise, the, the stain turned out really great. It looks really good. I'm really happy with it otherwise. I'll be making more sheaths, it's just a matter of time when I have the time to to do it and obviously a knife worth doing it for. So, the last two items are just pouches. Uh, pretty straightforward, uh, just sewing and cutting patterns. Uh, I had to make the patterns myself. Uh, as you can see, I put a little bit of a decal of my Walsh in the Woods on it just for fun because I had no means to do a stamp. So, um, that's something I'm thinking about and trying to figure out. Uh, this one here was the first one and this was the second one. This one I took a lot more time and care and learned a lot more from this guy to make this guy. And uh, this one turned out really great. This one was kind of okay. But they're very functional. They do work. Uh, the belt loop for this guy's big and this guy's is as well. Uh, I used different type of supports instead of stitching on this guy. So yeah, it's uh, been pretty good. Uh, and they do serve a really good function because they get to carry stuff I may not have otherwise be able to carry around with me quite easily. Just sharpeners, twine, you know, uh, lighters, whatnot. Anything I need through the day uh, makes it super simple. And uh, yeah, so pretty good. So that's pretty much where it's at, guys. That's, uh, that's all the stuff I've been working on. I have plans for an Algene carry and then outside pouches for my backpack. And I'll redo the axe carry as well. So there's a bunch of things that just uh, that you know I just want to chip away at. Uh, but it's a lot of fun. It's a big learning curve, and it's pretty expensive to get started. So it'll take time for that. But again, follow me on Instagram. I post pictures of stuff like that all the time. And if you're interested in seeing what I'm doing, that's the place to go to get started. If not, go to Walsh in the Woods and Facebook. I'll also post it there. It'll also link to my Instagram, Twitter account, so on and so forth. Thanks for tuning in guys, I really appreciate it. I hope you like this video. Uh, if you want to watch more of these videos, go to my channel, A Walsh in the Woods. Again, I'm Patrick, and in the end, enjoy your own adventures. Take care.